All right, guys, Callum from Team Coppish here with D from Back of the Nest. D, commiseration. <laughs> D's a Palace fan, as you would have known. He's been on the channel loads of times. 1 0 to Liverpool today. I'm a Liverpool fan, but I've got to be honest, road our luck. What did you think of the game? Yeah, I think in the first half, we were just not in it. It weren't good enough. Um, we weren't creating too many chances. I know we had that one offside um, goal. Um, and then apart from that, nothing else. I think Liverpool were on top and they created a better chances. But I think it was a different game in the second half when we made the substitutions. I mean, a lot of people have been asking about Adam Walton, what's been going on. He's been playing with an injury. And as soon as he comes off, and you can tell by his body language as well, whenever I go to games, and, I, and I've been watching him all season long, he's just been off it. He's not his usual self. And then when Will Hughes came on the pitch, when Mateta came on the pitch, we were able to play a bit more directly. And we created the better chances, I believe, in the second half, Palace. And once again, story of our season so far, we haven't took our chances. And that's the big problem. Eze, that was a massive chance. You have to hit it to one corner you, straight away at the goalie. And Kessie, another big chance. But that's a positive. Look, you lot are top of the league. You lot are, you know, still very good defensively. You got a good shape as well. So overall, like, you lot have been good. They're, they're, I mean, Liverpool, I've been impressed with Liverpool so far this season. And I do think you'll be top three um, there and about. So I think your fixtures coming up will be more interesting with the harder position. But yeah, I think it was a professional performance from a Liverpool perspective. From a Palace perspective, it was more frustrating. Frustrating. I think that's a word to use. We have to take our chances. I completely agree. Um, from a Liverpool standpoint, from the outside looking in, a fan like myself, I'm quite hesitant to talk about us winning the title. I think we can be in and around it. Do, when you look at games like today and where we are in the league and some of the players like Ryan Gravenberg, she's really hitting top form. Do you think we can go all the way this season? No. And it's not me being sorry no, or anything. No. I said this on our preview yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah. I said this on our preview before the game as well. I feel like there'll be hurdles along the way, but expecting a manager to win the league in his first season is a bit too much as well. I know... Look, Liverpool Football Club, expectations are going to be high. Naturally so, you should be aiming. But me personally, I feel like you're going to... I know it's just going to happen. I know at some point of the season, there might be one or two games or three games where something gets figured out by the opposition. Like we've seen it even at Palace with, with Glasner trying to experiment and find his starting eleven. That will happen. And when that happens with how the league has been with City and Arsenal, I feel like that will catch up to you lot and eventually that's why I don't think you'll win the league but saying that the fact that you are top of the league and we're going into the second international break that's something to be very positive of because a lot of people were laughing when slot came I didn't I, personally I didn't understand why there were a lot of memes and stuff yeah. on social media but he's actually done a very good job you know he's had he's taken a big responsibility taking over taking over from Jurgen Klopp who of course won the Champions League and the Premier League and he's got his own system it looks settled it's not as frantic at times as Jurgen Klopp's was, but it gets you results. You got the three points today. You kept the clean sheet away from home. You spoke about it as well. Sellers part for opposition is not always, I know you always get results, but it's not always the easiest. You saw the chance Never in the second half. Yeah, and, and there's so much to be proud of, but in terms of winning the league, it's, it's, I just don't see it happening. Naturally so, if you do, that would be incredible. That would be incredible. But go, I mean, you're on the right, you're, you're on the right step. You'll probably improve your squad as time goes on. Slot will figure out a few things as well. Uh, teams, it, it, it balances out. It balances out in terms of, you know, the chances created, chances against over the season. So, so yeah, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Absolutely. Well, I'm not going to keep you too long, bro. Tell the people where they can find and support you. Yeah, Back of the Nest on YouTube. Um, Palace content. <laughs> the pressure. <laughs> Therapy shows. Therapy shows <laughs> at this point. But, yeah, but well, thank you for having me on. Pleasure, bro. Thank you so much, man. Right, take care, bro. <laughs>